Okay, so we are live um, and we're recording. And I think that I already see that there are people in the room. Yes, <laughs> we are okay. Um, you right. can also see that on the other side that there, there are people and they're coming in and they're saying hi, yay. Okay, good things are happening. Um, friends, if you are here for Saturday morning story time with Kirstie Call um, and her son, Sam. Hi, Sam. Um, we will be reading in a moment. I'm just gonna let um, more friends know that the room is available. Um, so just good morning and thank you for joining us. Um, Kirsty, I, I love your setup. I just wanna talk about all of the cow themed stuff behind <laughs> you um, and where you got those super cool balloons, first of all. And um, second of all, where you got your super cool shirt, like let's just talk about cow for a second. Okay, so I got those balloons on Amazon. The balloons and I think there's a big cow face over here and oh, and the God. puppets. There's another Everything. balloon that we haven't had in any of the book launches, but it's been- Oh, Sammy's going to show you another balloon. Awesome. I can't it's wait. Weird, it's a very weird looking cow balloon that we have not shown it's anyone yet. Up, so. It's been blown up for six months. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. This came along Stop with it. the other cow balloon, so- Oh my, no, wait, wait. Can you put it back up again? Because I need people to see the little feet and the little floppy ears. Oh, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> that is the most adorable thing ever. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, that's the best. This is going to be such a great, this is going to be so great. I'm so excited. Um, excited too. <laughs> I want to uh, just introduce you um, and then I'm gonna disappear because this is gonna be so much fun and I wanna make sure that you get all the time you need. So um, good morning, friends. My name is Kira Wilson-Cook. I am the events coordinator for the Silver Unicorn Bookstore in Acton, Massachusetts. I'm so delighted uh, to host Kiersey Call, author of the brand new book, Cow Says Meow, um, and also the brand-ish, new-ish book, um, Mutilda's Bad Meow. Mood. Where's that? Yeah, can we, can we hold that up? Yes. That came out in September. Um, both books are available to you at the Silver Unicorn Bookstore and at silverunicorn.com. And just so you know, if you purchase the book online or in person, Kiersey was so generous as to give us adorable book plates, signed book plates um, that will be with every book and super adorable stickers. We love the stickers. Like we just love the stickers. Um, so that's even more incentive to come in, pick up your copy. I think that you'll find that both of these books are going to be the next great read aloud in your house. They already are in mine, and I just can't wait to hear them read out loud and um, puppeted by master puppeteer Sam, who is joining us today. Thank you so much. And I hear that there are other special guests. So this is going to be a really special um, story time today. Kiersey, congratulations on your new books. Um, thank you so much for choosing us for a Saturday morning story time. We're just so delighted to host you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay. So this is the part where I disappear and you okay. have the most is fun and I'll be back in a little bit for some Q&A. Friends, if you have just like joyful comments that you would like to share with Kirsty, please feel free to put them in the chat. Oh, and if you have, um, if, you're, if your kiddos have uh, any questions, please feel free to put them in the Q&A. And that reminds me, friends, this is a Zoom webinar, which means that we cannot see you and we cannot hear you. And that matters in the COVIDs. If you are a parent who needs some coffee in a minute and know that your kid is safe <laughs> to do a activity, this is the place for you. So feel free to go get that second cup of coffee. This is a safe place for your kid to sit down and have a great story time. Um, and now with that, I'm disappearing. Have a great, great fun time. Thank you. So as Kira showed everyone, I wrote Cow Says Meow and Sammy and I are gonna show you what you can do with this book. Look through that side. <laughs> we, um, so I dedicated this book to Sammy. And it says, for Sammy, you're the cat's meow. Do you know what that means, Sammy? I'm meowless? Yes, exactly. So let's read the book together. Do you want to be the animals and I'll be the narrator? Uh, yes. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> Mom. 
I said it backwards, but sometimes that happens. All right, Cow Says Meow. Written by Kirstie Call, illustrated by Brandon James Scott. Cow Says Meow. What a copycat. Cat Says Nay. That cat sounds hoarse. Horse says, growl. I can't bear it. Bear says, bah. You must be confused. Sheep says, poo, poo. Who's in charge of this story anyway? Owl says, woof. You're barking up the wrong tree. Dog says, cluck. Don't want to ruffle your feathers, but dogs can't cluck. Hen says, roar. That's one fierce chicken. Lion says, oink. Hogwash. <laughs> Pig says, hi. Pigs don't say hello. Kid says, moo. This story was an utter disaster. Cow says, psst, can I meow again? And look at the end papers. We'll talk about this in a second. Okay. Um, Do you know what the story kind of reminds me of? Jokes I used to tell you when you were little? Yes, but also Old MacDonald had a farm. Let's move into that story. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow meow stop, here stop. and a meow. Cow doesn't say meow, not usually anyway. What a copycat. Okay, let's try. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. growl it's almost unbearable well okay with a nay nay here and a nay nay there here a nay there a nay everywhere a nay nay old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o and on that farm he had a sheep e-i-e-i-o Stop, this sheep sounds like an owl. Who's in charge of this story or song anyway? <laughs> okay, let's try sheep sound. With a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba there, ba everywhere ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a sounds fierce. Usually they cluck. Okay. With, With a cluck, cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck, cluck there. Yes. Here, cluck, there, cluck, everywhere, cluck, cluck, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig. E-I-E-I-O. With a high, high stop, there. Stop. Hogwash, that pig sounds like me. Usually they oink. With, With an oink, oink, oink there, and an oink, oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That was a barnyard ballyhoo, and we did exactly what was in the book. At the beginning of the book, the animal sounds are mixed up, and in the end, the animals are saying the right sounds. Thanks for your help, Sammy. 
Uh, kids, did you know it's okay to be different? <laughs> it's okay to meow if you're a cow. It's okay to roar if you're a chicken. And my daughter, Sydney, wrote a song about this, and she's going to come here right now <laughs> and sing it for us. I saw a cow the uh, other day. He said, meow, is he okay? I saw a cow. Showed its claws, then he said, Nay, what were the odds? There was a horse running by, and then he roared, Oh, why, oh, why? And if you're a cow, it's okay to say meow, even if you're the only one. And if you're an playing a, a, a little bit more for us later, but now uh, we are going to read Mutilda. But first, since we're not in person, I, for Mutilda, I want you to say some things with me. So we're going to practice. Um, we're going to practice saying a few things together. So we're going to, first we're going to practice saying moo. I'm going to say one, two, three, moo. And I want everyone in the audience to say moo with me. One, two, three, moo. Okay, that was really great. Let's try one more time. One, two, three. Ooh. Huh, I think we have a very special guest. Mutilda, Mutilda, was that you? Yes. <laughs> well, Mutilda, I have a mood meter that I think you're really gonna like. Let's talk about this mood meter And everyone in the audience, I want you to think about what you're feeling right now. The mood meter starts with, oh, okay. Thank you, Mutilda. Thank you. Utterly catastrophic. That means you're in a really terrible mood. And then it goes to melancholy. That's kind of just very sad. And then moodyoker. That means you're feeling kind of so-so or in the middle. Then you're moognificent. You're feeling really good, right? And But even better, you would be feeling over the moon. <laughs> Thank you, Mutilda, for demonstrating for us. Okay, I, um, Mutilda, what's your mood of the day? Lots of times, I'm in a bad mood. Kirstie, what about you? Where are you on the mood meter? I am over the moon, excited to read Mutilda's bad mood. Wait, I'm in a book? Yes, yes you are. Okay, bad mood gone. I'm super excited and feeling moveless. Okay, before we read the book, we're going to need people to help us when you say I'm in a bad mood, right? So let's practice. I want everyone to say I'm in a bad mood with Mutilda. Ready? One, two, three. I'm in a bad mood. Is that really what I sound like when I say that? You sound a little like that, except with all, without all the other people. 
but I'm in the mood to read. So I'm going to share my I screen. I can't wait to see what my book is about. Um, I don't know how to get to the, <laughs> sorry, I'm in the wrong. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was back to cow says meow. Okay, Mutilda's Bad Mood by Corey Rosen Schwartz and Kirsty Call, illustrated by Claudia Renucci. And there's Mutilda with all of her funny moods. Mutilda woke up in a huff with hay stuck in her hair. What's going on? My pillow's gone. My doll's way over there. She hugged her mooma cow who said, oh, sweetie, have a treat. She grabbed the stick and took a lick. It landed at her feet. Everyone, I'm in a bad mood. Her mooma said, that's terrible, but don't stay in and mope. She smoothed her cowlick, smooched her cheek, and said, go jump some rope. Some calves were playing double dutch. Mutilda caught some air. She skipped and tripped. A bucket tipped, and milk spilled everywhere. And I want everyone to pay attention to what's happening with the chickens here as we read. Everyone, I'm in a bad mood. Hey, hey there now, don't have a cow. We'll get this mess removed. A soothing swim will cool you down. Your mood will soon improve. Some lambs were diving in the pond. They lunged and plunged, kerplop. Mutilda leapt, but whack went smack. A bovine belly flop. I'm in a bad mood. Don't be mad, it's not so bad. I just got slammed, she cried. Oops, let's let Mutilda say that. I just got slammed. She cried. That dive was a calamity. Relax, go take a ride. Some pigs were riding bicycles. Mutilda grabbed a spare. They squealed and wheeled. She meant to yield, but flew up in the air. I'm in a bad that this morning stinks. I think I'm jinxed. I'm scraped up from that fall. You're fine. Don't whine, replied the swine. That's hogwash. Play some ball. Some ponies dribbled, shot, and scored. Mutilda dunked and dashed. She alley-ooped but missed the hoop. The ball bounced off and crashed. I'm in a bad This day has been a catastrophe. I think I've got a curse. The chickens clucked, you've got bad luck. Our day's been even worse. Our stuff was pecked, our projects wrecked. We're feeling bleak and blue. Oh, uh, oh my, what a coincidence. You're in a bad mood too? We're in a bad mood. Mutilda took a breath and said, I don't know who's upsetter. Let's huddle and cow misery and then we'll feel much better. Mutilda cheered the chickens up with creamy cold dessert. Just then a crow flew well at way too low and knocked hers in the dirt. <gasps> Mutilda gasped and then she laughed. <laughs> <laughs> her laughs rang on and on. Then suddenly to her surprise, her gloomy mood was gone. <laughs> I, I'm in a good mood. My Mutilda felt magnificent. She'd really changed her tune. My melancholy mood has left. I'm now over the moon. Counseling, expert in the field. And then there's the crow right there. I'm in a bad mood. And there she is making all of her uh, mad faces. Okay, so what do you think of your book, Mutilda? It's, it's a little embarrassing, but I know all about moods. <laughs> I know a little bit about moods too. I'm a therapist, which means I help people with their bad moods. Mutilda, what do you do when you're in a bad mood? Well, I'm not always perfect at it, but I notice helping others helps my mood improve. What do you do, Kirsty? 
I tried to embrace it and then move on. But you know it's okay to be in a bad mood, Matilda? Of course. I already told you. I know everything about moods. And I think jokes help you with moods, don't they? Can I tell you a joke? Of course. How did the farmer find his lost cow? How? He tracked her down. Ah. Uh, <laughs> what do you call a cattle with a sense of humor? I have no idea. Laughing stock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to try one. Why do cows like telling farm jokes? Because they like being a moose. <laughs> okay, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Matilda, that was really fun. Now we're going to sing your song. What? I have a song too? Yay! I want everyone to sing it with us. Magnificent! Can you guess what the refrain is? Matilda is the best. Yeah. Matilda <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Sorry, Matilda. Not for this song. Maybe for the next one. The refrain is she's in a bad mood. Okay, so this part, we want everyone to sing that part with us. Let's try it. She's in a, I'm in a bad mood, everyone. I'm in a bad mood. Okay, so we're going to sing that part, and then Mutilda is going to sing the other part. So the chorus will try and sing along with you. Okay, Mutilda? Okay. All right, let's try it. Just wanna yell at you, I'm in a bad mood. What do I do? I can count to ten and take deep breaths and start again. Everything's going wrong. That's not the way it's supposed to be. That's why I'm singing this song. Why don't you sing along with me? I'm in a bad mood. Don't know what to do. I'm in a bad mood. Just wanna yell at you. I'm in a bad mood. What do I do? I can count to 10 and take deep breaths and start again. This situation's not ideal. Nothing's under my control. Try to communicate how I feel. But it's okay, I know I'm not alone when I'm in, in a bad, bad mood. mood. Don't, Don't know what to do, I'm in a bad mood. Just wanna yell at you, I'm in a bad mood. What do I do? I can count to ten and Take deep breaths and start again. Only this time I'm in a good mood. Thank you, Mutilda. And thank you, Sydney, for writing Mutilda a song. What do you think of your song? Wow, I like it. That was really fun. Yep. <laughs> and best music ever. So we want to thank everyone for tuning in. And now we are happy to, or I'm happy to answer questions. And Mutilda might answer questions too, or Sammy or Sydney, if you have any for them. Uh, this has been so much fun. Um, this has been, I, I, this, the music, this was so unexpected and so amazing. I'm having the best time. I, I hope everyone in the audience is too. Um, I, I, there have been comments in the chat just saying how delightful this has been because this has been delightful with music. I don't think we've ever had a Saturday morning story time um, with music. Um, this has just been the best. So uh, friends, if, if, you, uh, if you have a question or if you have a kiddo in your lap who has a question, please feel free, free <laughs> to put it in the comments. I mean, in the Q&A, my Lordy, it's Saturday morning, y'all. Um, I have a question. Just where did all of this talent come from, y'all? Like where the music and, and the guitar and the puppets, 
can you just tell a little bit about the production that you've put on today and how <laughs> how much energy it took to make it happen? Well, we like to sing together as a family and many of my kids write music and love to sing. We all love to sing. And yeah, so I just thought it would be really fun to involve them in my book launches because it, oh, it's more fun for me. And I thought it'd be more fun for kids to have like a kid reading also and to have puppets and yeah, I'm grateful that they're willing to help me. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, David wants to know what your inspiration, uh, wh what was your inspiration to write Mutilda? Um, Mutilda was, uh, I wanted to write a social emotional book because, um, because I've been a therapist for many years and I thought it would be a good kind of bibliotherapeutic book. And so also, I think all of us have been in a bad mood before. <laughs> in fact, I have this mug right here. It says, I'm in a bad mood on one side. And then the other side says, I'm in a good mood. And I wanted to write something where it would feel like it was okay to be in a bad mood, but that there were kind of tools and things that you could do. Like Mutilda, she doesn't even realize she did all of those things to the chickens that she did. She has no idea yet when they say, Oh, we had a hard day too. She just commiserates with them or cow miserates and she, <laughs> and she gives them ice cream and she tries to do something nice for them, even though she doesn't know that she was the cause, you know, like when we're in a bad mood, it affects everyone. And sometimes we don't even realize it, but also when we help others and talk to other people that helps with our mood. So. Which book was the most fun to write and why? Oh, they're so different. Cow says meow was really fun because I wrote down a whole list of idioms and then I had to choose which idioms were the most, which idioms I wanted to use, which would be the best for the animals. So that was fun. But then writing in rhyme is really fun. And I was writing with my friend, Corey Rosen Schwartz, and we were bouncy ideas off each other. And we also, as you could tell, had a lot of wordplay and idioms in that one. So I don't know, that's hard to say. They're both really fun to write, just very different. Could you tell us just a little bit about, um, I mean, why barnyard animals? You could have written about anything. You chose cows and you chose chickens. What, what is it about those animals that speak to you? Well, they're funny. I think chickens are particularly funny. I don't know how it is that two, two cow books came out right in a row because that is not all I write about. <laughs> But barnyards, it, it's just great fodder for, for humor and for wordplay and for, you know, and I think kids really like animals. And um, cow says meow, I wrote because I used to tell this joke to my kids all the time. The animals were saying the wrong sounds when they were really little and they just thought it was hilarious. And so that's why, yeah, that's why I use animals like that. This is the best. Oh, um, do you want to give us a sneak preview of anything you're working on or what's coming out next? Maybe. Let me see. Oh, here. oh a cow fell. Oh, no. <laughs> this is an advanced reader's copy of Cold Turkey, and it's coming out in the fall. And I'm so excited. Look at how cute these. It's another. There is a cow, of course, in this book, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but not the main character. And look at how cute these animals are. Amazing. Here's, oh, they look, oh, this is gonna be the best. Yay. Um, my favorite spread. Um, here they are around the fire. Oh, spread. that so, is awesome. That is awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing more of that and we'll get to because we're launching cold turkey in the fall. So we can't wait to host you again. This is Yay. gonna be the best, yes. Um, I, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to Sam. I want to say thank you to your to your very talented daughter. I want to say thank you to the whole crew, whatever, whatever production crew is in front of you <laughs> yeah. behind the camera. We just all want to say oh, thank family. you. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, this was just, this was the best. So just thank you so much. Um, friends, I want to just remind you that um, Cal says meow. Um, and Mutilda's Bad Mood, which uh, Kirstie, can, can you put it up so we can see it one more time, um, are available at the silverunicornbookstore.com. They are also available on Silver Unicorn 
books. I mean, I'm sorry, at the Silver Unicorn Bookstore <laughs> and silverunicornbooks.com. They come with beautiful plates signed by Kirsty, and they also come with adorable stickers that are akin to the um, end papers on the uh, on the inside of the book. So if you want these, you've got to come in and get them or order them online at silverunicornbooks.com. Um, Kirsty and crew, you're amazing and multi-talented and I'm just feeling super inspired today. Um, <laughs> I, so I'm, I'm just going to go and find a guitar and strum it, I think, in this beautiful weather. <laughs> I love um, it. We're looking forward to seeing you again this fall. Um, and just thank you so much for your time and your joy. Thank you. This was great. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Yes. All right, friends. See you next time for, some, uh, for Saturday morning story time. In the meantime, stay safe out there. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.